All right, so guys, here's a a new uh, keto thing I got going on. So I usually do intermittent fasting. I usually eat once a day when I get home from dinner, um, sometimes twice. This week I had lunch probably twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I think, a three-day fast. I ate last night. About 6.30, 7 o'clock, I had a ribeye covered in cheese um, and three egg omelet with cheese. I added some uh, cayenne pepper to those and some salt, pepper, garlic, salt, and oh, it was good. So starting last night, 8 o'clock, say 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, I ate my last meal. And I probably won't eat until... Let's see, I'm not going to eat today, so that's Friday. I'm not going to eat tomorrow. That's Saturday. So I probably won't eat until Sunday night or Monday night. Maybe, maybe even lunch Monday instead. Um, this morning I was 211.6, I think. So I'm gonna, I want to break that 210 barrier. So to... To break where I've been kind of a little stagnant lately, I'm just going to fast for three days, clean myself out, make myself, uh, you know, just break that cycle for a little bit. I last The last time I did a three-day fast was right before Thanksgiving 2017. And, you know, it's a true fast. Water, I can have my seltzer because there's no calories, no... Uh, sugars no anything in it just natural flavor and um carbonated water so other than that i sometimes have a dr a beverage that has um cream of tartar salt and apple cider vinegar which will help to absorb um keep water that the cream of tartar is good potassium um and then from your salt you get some other if you use a good salt not house table salt but i use like himalayan pink salt or something like that and you get your some more minerals and stuff out of that so the important thing is not to dehydrate keep yourself hydrated and i mean usually there's no hunger I mean, I still have plenty of energy to go off of, so I'm not worried about that. I feel good. And when I did the last three-day fast, I really had no problems. I was able to keep up. I was able to do my work and all that. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll let you know how I feel maybe over the weekend or maybe next week when I do eat my first meal. Um, I'll let you know where we're at. But thanks for the support. Any questions, just ask. And just on this topic, I I see people with posts that they're doing egg fasts or th whatever it is. <laughs> a fast is not eating. I don't know how you do an egg fast where you just eat eggs or whatever you, whatever you choose to do for that or a fat fast. I mean, a fast is not eating. It's taking in no calories. So, I mean, it's kind of an oxymoron to do a fast with food. So, if you have any, you know, if you have any input on that, just let me know. I, it's just something that I see and it tweaks me a little bit. And I'm like, I don't understand. How do you do a fast? Oh, I'm doing a, a one-week egg fast. Okay, but that's not a fast. That's one week of eating eggs. People do that all the time. You know, people eat steak. Oh, well, I, I had cheeseburgers all week. Okay, so is that a cheeseburger fast? I don't understand. So just, you know, let me let me know your input on that, and we'll go from there. Thanks. Bye.